I never actually walked down here. There's some girls having their lunch. Somebody crap, say hello YouTube. Hello. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay. They're actually masseurs. I know by the uniform. If you've been to Bangkok, you'll probably know by the uniform as well. So even masseurs take masseurs take a lunch break. This video is all about adult entertainment venues in Rashida. And why specifically Rashida? Well, specifically Rashida, because I live here. And the other thing is, Rashida is well known for the adult entertainment industry. The most well known places in Bangkok would be Nana or Salom, you know, Nana Plaza, that kind of place. But Rashida is one of the hotspots of the adult entertainment industry. And the reason you might not have heard of it um, as a hotspot for adult entertainment is because it's for adult entertainment of the Asian variety. I'm talking about Chinese, Japanese, Korean, that kind of thing. If you're interested in this subject, I'm sure you may be, stay tuned. visit some of these adult entertainment venues. Now I stress I'm not going inside. To go inside with a camera or a GoPro or any other video recording device would be detrimental to the safety of that device, let's say, and not to mention my own. But here we are at Poseidon. Poseidon is a monstrosity of a building and it is an adult entertainment venue, security on duty there. Um, now, it's open every day, there you are, from midday to midnight, and there's some of the features there, the bedroom there, entertainment complex, and you've got the kind of a fishbowl arrangement there for the girls. So basically, most of these places are fishbowl type entertainment venues where the girls will sit behind glass, like as in a fishbowl, and you choose your girl. Um, it's very, it's very Asian, because basically you sit there, you have a drink, you're looking at these girls, they're sitting there looking back at you. It's almost self-conscious, and basically you choose your girl. She has a number. They usher her to come to a side door, and she brings you up to a room and gives you a massage and whatever else happens as a result of that. Um, and Poseidon is a place where that happens. And you can see the size of the building there. Somebody told me, more than one person told me, a good friend of mine, Mark, in the UK, told me that he knew someone who tried to get in there and they were refused because it's for Asians only. I've never tried um, because I've never tried. I mean, I'm not willing to spend 5,000 baht on a massage because that's what I heard. Well, the prices can range 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, I'm sure. It goes beyond that, but that's Poseidon. That's one of the adult entertainment venues here on main on the main Rashidafasik Road. Let's venture up this way, and we'll find a few more adult entertainment venues on the Rashidafa Pisek Road. And not more than 300 meters up the road, we come to. Dubai, formerly known as, I think it was Johnny Walker or something or other, um, but it was sponsored by Johnny Walker. This video has not been sponsored by Johnny Walker or anyone else for that matter. But this is the Dubai Adult Entertainment Resort or Center. And you can see some of the landmarks of Dubai there. The um, Burj Al Arab and the, whatever, the, I forgot about the Burj Khalifa, Burj Khalifa. Um, but there we are, there's the entrance to it there and it's very plush. You can Google this, they have their own, you can Google this, they have their own website, and um, I think membership is 30,000 baht or something like that, but you can see the chairs there. I don't know if you can see my reflection, but you can see the chairs there and the Christmas tree and blah, blah, blah. It's extremely plush. There's the opening, 21 to 2 a.m. Uh, it's 9 p.m. to 2 a.m and all their licenses there and everything else. As far as I know, I don't know much about it. I was never, I was never in it. Um, it's very, very, very luxurious, put it that way. And there's a lot of very, and I, let's say this again, 
extremely beautiful girls that go in and out of this place and there's a sign there for it so and there's a bit of it in English so let's have a read and see what information we can get from that Dubai Luxury Club KTV in Thailand um, that's Korean TV I think pretty PR Coyote the most beautiful girl that should be plural the most beautiful girls top DJ top DJs bands every night so there you go so Google it if you've got a few bob to spare you can enjoy a night in there but as far as I'm concerned um, it's a bit out of my price budget the cars that I see parked in the car park here would be you know high-end you know Mercedes BMW um, Ferraris Porsches something like things like that so once you see those kind of things in the car park well once I see those kind of things in the car park I know it's out of my price range let's move on and see what we can find further up Rashid Appa Pisek Road. So now we've moved on about, you is, about another 300 meters or so, and we're on the far side. The far side, just to give you a, a bearings here. That's Wigwang, that's uh, Pratchett on Crow, and that's Wigwang Market there to the left, just down there. Uh, that's just to give you your bearings. So there's another adult entertainment venue here and it's Claudia Club and Restaurant. Claudia Club and Restaurant was open prior to COVID, obviously a lot of they all were, but it closed down, they gutted the place and they refurbished it and this is what it looks like now. So you have food available inside, 300 baht, looks like a buffet menu and you can see the selection of food you can get there it looks fairly reasonable even french fries uh, everything is written in thai <coughs> everything is written in thai which will give you an idea so that obviously said that they're closed from the first to the third of january 2566 the, the year this year 2023 in the buddhist calendar is 2566 so they'll be closed today is the third they'll be closed today today is tuesday the third so they'll be open again on wednesday um but that's club claudia and i was in there once prior to it closing down and being refurbished and it's basically a goldfish bowl place there's a few different well there were a few different they're like plinths like in a football stadium if you can imagine that the girls are on steps let's say seated behind these glass screens and you go for your 2,000 bat girl your 3,000 bat girl or your 4,000 bat girl and above that's the way it was honest to god that's the way Asians like to do it they like just to um, you know it's a quick deal for them you know there's no romance to it I suppose um, if you go to Nana you'll get go to a bar you'll talk to a girl you play pool with her have a beer maybe have a burger watch a football game whatever you do but you'll make a night out of it these guys don't they're just in and out and that's the way it is um so that's club claudia there's another one or two up this direction let's have a look and see what's there so now we've ventured up another oh, i wouldn't even be 200 meters and we're at emmanuel there we go emmanuel massage and entertainment if you want to get your bearings just to give you a heads up on this there is the Swiss Hotel Bangkok Rashida across across the road so let's have a closer look at um, Emmanuel it is again like Poseidon palatial work for living or work to live I think they mean and play for life well that makes sense um, so there's the entrance and it's like something like gothic almost you know it's like I don't know what it's like but it's absolutely huge it stretches all the way around there the rooms are up there and more rooms up there so I've never been in it again it's all written in Thai all the um, Yeah, everything is written in Thai, so I can go up the stairs and just have a look. Pombai Duke, Tane, okay, just walk. Tane, Kangna, Kangna. 
from by do Kang Na outside. My bye, my bye, just upstairs and do do my my. Ah, okay, okay, no, no problem, no problem. Okay, so just as I can't even go up the stairs, so they're very very um, private about what goes on there. Well, I'm sure they are. I suppose they're keeping keeping their patrons in mind. This is the back of Rashid Afasik, um, just to show you. There's some restaurants there, these are the, the kitchen, the kitchen areas, this is just an extra for this video, there's the kitchen area there, look. There's obviously some restaurant there, I know there's a, yeah there's a lot of restaurants on the far side here, um, and I never actually walked down here, there's some girls having their lunch. So what crap? Say hello YouTube. Hello. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay. They're actually masseurs. I know by the uniform. If you've been to Bangkok, you'll probably know by the uniform as well. So even masseurs take masseurs take a lunch break. Um, there's another place here. I don't know if it, it looks very derelict. I don't know if it is or not. But um, look. I mean, it does what it says on the tin, I suppose, and that's what's there, you know, but it doesn't look very open or it doesn't look as if, as if it has been open any time in the recent past. High class and again, in Thai, there's the entrance there. I suppose it is open, but not now, not at this hour of the day. So if you want to have a, 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 let's say a look and get some kind of perspective on this where you know this is at the back of Rasha Daffa's Pisek Road um, so this will give you your bearings here's the MRT if you want to come here this is the MRT station and the MRT exit there's four exits for each MRT station there's one on either side of the road there's a T junction or there's a crossroads here there's one here there's one over there and the same applies on the other side so it's exit 3 exit 3 of the MRT at Hui Quang. that's where you get off your MRT to come to any of these places because they're all within say five six hundred meters of each other and they're all Asian style and if you like your entertainment Asian style you might enjoy coming here and having a look at the style that's available. For me, it's a little bit too Asian. I prefer a beer, I prefer a burger, I prefer a conversation um, and making a night out of me night, let's say, put it that way. Um, chatting with friends, doing all the rest of it. You don't get the opportunity to do that in these kind of, these kind of places. And there's another one, lemongrass. I, I think lemongrass is more traditional. There's, those girls, they're looking at the uniform there. Those girls work in lemongrass and let's see if I can find lemongrass there. Open from 10 a.m. to midnight. That's traditional Thai massage. Um, it's not anyway in keeping with what we've just been talking about. So what we've been talking about is adult entertainment, Asian style in Rashida, and that's what it's famous for. And if you know anything about um, Rashida, you'll know that it, the Chinese embassy is here, for example. Um, a lot of the businesses here have their names in Mandarin, Mandarin text, Mandarin, Mandarin Chinese. Um, so it's very Asian orientated. And there are some like me, who live here, but not many, not many at all. Um, so if you've enjoyed this look at Asian style entertainment in Rasha Dafis, Rasha Dafisek, and I'm gonna have to remember to say that because I normally say Rasha Dafisek, um, but I, I have been told reliably that I should say Rasha Dafisek. 
But if you've enjoyed this little look at the entertainment venues here, make sure that if you haven't done so already, you click that subscribe button, click the like button, click the share button. Do all those wonderful things and I'll bring you back another wonderful video very soon. So I'm going to get back on my trusty steed. It's my Chinese made electric motorcycle. Well, I call it an electric motorcycle. It's class as a bicycle. It cost me 1,500 Thai baht. I got a discount. I asked the guy for a discount. I got it for 1,000. Oh, sorry, 10,500 Thai baht. I got it for 10,250 Thai baht. And there it is there. Top speed of 38 kilometers per hour on a full charge. Um, and charge wise, you get about 40 to 50 kilometers on it. Um, there's the guy selling brooms. There you are. So I'm putting the key in the ignition. And that's what you get. We're up and running. And I'll see you again very, very soon, lads. Thanks for joining me. Stay safe. <laughs>